Hey everyone, I hope you can hear me well. Uh, well, I'm using this mic, so most surely this time, my voice is very good. Clearly, uh, all right. So this is going to be a very short video, and this is a basic uh, outline or draw or draw line for this channel. Uh, this channel called Through My Eyes. I started this after moving to Japan from India. This year in 2023, in June, on June 5th. On a sixth, I think, I moved to Japan from India, like permanently, after uh, waiting for long years. So, like after first time I come to, I came to Japan in 2019 uh, uh, July. Since then, I was just waiting to get myself back here in Japan, and uh, now finally I'm here. So uh, I'm very excited to talk about so many experiences. Between me and Japan, between me and Japanese language, and I will be also sharing why I here, why uh, like what I do, how I do, where do I live, how my life is in Japan, and how I manage so many things, how I manage work, and how I got myself here, like the whole process, from uh, getting a remote job first, then working from India for like more than one and a half years. And then finally, I came here on a working visa, engineer visa. I live in Tokyo, and I have so many experiences experiences in Japan which I can share with you, and I'm sure you will love it because uh, so many things under the line, beneath the line, which nobody will tell you. I mean, honestly, nobody will tell you. So I have so many experiences, and I have so many tips and tricks. If you want to come to Japan, and if you are already living in Japan, then those tips will help you a lot to grow financially, mentally, psychologically, and physically in Japan. Being an Indian, specifically being an Indian, because uh, if you are coming from India, then it's become quite difficult to survive in Japan. Uh, because of food, because of the very different Japanese culture and the Indian culture, we born in, like I born and brought up in India, like for the almost twenty seven and a half years I lived in India, and then I shifted to Japan. So the cultural difference is huge. On the internet, if you search and if you try to like make a research, then you will find that okay, there is no. There is not much difference between Japanese culture and Indian culture. Maybe people might say it, but there is huge. The cultural difference is huge, and that is going to uh, that is going to bother you a lot. If specifically if you are working here in Japan on an IT visa, then I can definitely help you with so many things, like how you should work. What you should speak, what you should not speak, how you handle so many different situations while working with a in a Japanese company with Japanese people because working with Japanese people is so much different than working with Indian people in India or outside India because the cultural difference and the perspective and the way of thinking is completely uh, you know uh, different. Uh, Japanese people think way much. Differently than Indian. So, uh, if you want to come to Japan, or if you are already in Japan and struggling with the Japanese uh, Japanese lifestyle, I can help you with so many things. So, this is just an introductory video, like about what I'm going to put on this channel, along with my travel videos. I like to make travel videos, uh, cinematic videos, and the B-roll. So, I'll keep making them. Along that, I will also helping you with few tips and tricks and few like. Another line guidance: How you can make your life easy and wonderful, and you can enjoy here in Japan being an Indian if you're working here. So yeah, see you again in the next video. Thank you.